so the best way and and I'd probably the, the only way that's that's really concrete as to how you're going to figure out if your beats are ready to sell trying to push for another placement this year I've been working on a, a big placement folder like 60 beats and I'm just gonna blast two beats every day to uh, to my list of placement emails for the whole of September so hopefully that will sort of allow me to cut through a little bit but yeah I, I do get a few DMs actually from you guys who ask like you know you know how did you get the shorty shorty placement you might not believe me based off of what other producers have said about you know people saying the email game is dead I landed the shorty shorty placement through email you know it wasn't like anything complicated I just I just hit I just hit beats every day for like three or four weeks you know every day new beat every day new beat and just sent them out every single day and then eventually I got the reply for the for the Yao Ming beat but I don't really have a huge amount of time to make loops as well as upload beats every single day as well as make videos and edit so yeah this is like my way of doing it and you know it, it, it worked it just takes a lot of you know a lot of hitting the same emails every day but again at the end of the day the beat has to be fire so you know you just have to be making sure that you, you just have to know if your beats are good or not like it's, it's difficult because like a lot of people say my beats are good why are they sell in it's like you the thing is you don't decide if your beats are good the market decides you know I thought my beats were fire like two years ago and like barely any of them were selling and you know you have to kind of you have to kind of be aware of you know that's that's the be all and end all the beats have to be good you can do all the marketing stuff that I explain in these videos but if they're not good then just take some time and just work on your craft until you get good and um, trust me it makes it a lot easier to convert more sales um, especially if, you know the, the product is the key the quality of the product is is so key all right this is a biggie this is a big one I think today now I get DMs or emails at least twice a week from a few of you guys, you know, a few of you producers who have either watched my videos and started to use some of the strategies that I've given away on, you know, how to sell beats online, or you've been through my courses and you've, you know, you've tried to implement some of the tactics and you, you send me a DM and you say, Liam, I really like the idea of the, of the, you know, the strategies, but like, I'm not getting any sales. You know, I've been doing this for like two weeks. Why aren't I getting any sales? There's one big, and this is crucial, there's one big reason why beats don't sell. It may sound obvious to some of you, but your beats just aren't good enough yet. Now don't leave me just yet because I want to show you how you can figure out if your beats are good enough, which is then a good time to go ahead and start pushing some of the strategies that I've explained in these videos and in my courses. So the best way and, and I'd probably the, the only way that's, that's really concrete as to how you're going to figure out if your beats are ready to sell if you're ready to stop you know really pushing hard with your marketing and really pushing hard with you know just putting your beats in front of as many artists and rappers as possible the only way you can find that out is from the marketplace okay in our case the marketplace is rappers and singers and artists if you're trying to submit beats for placements if you're trying to submit beats for sync placements on tv shows the best way to figure out if your beats are ready to start selling and start pushing and make your life a lot easier when it comes to trying to sell beats then the marketplace is the best place to figure out if you're ready or not and what, and what I mean by that is because I know that sounds like a generic business term but basically what I mean by that is that make beats get them on your store and don't stop doing that by the way get them on your store regularly try some of the techniques that I use try running advertisements if you're not getting squat if you're not getting any interaction whatsoever then they're not good enough yet. They're really not good enough yet. Send DMs, reach out to rappers, reach out to ice. Try not to ask for feedback because I know it sounds like a good exercise and a good way to figure that out. But honestly, asking strangers and people that don't really care about your brand yet, people that don't really care about you just yet, are really not going to be in the, in the mood to, to listen to your beats and dissect them and say they like them or not. Some might, some will. But honestly, at the end of the day, everyone's trying to push for their own careers. A lot of people don't have time just to listen to your beats and to give you like some real like detailed feedback as to why, you know, they're not going to be selling, you know. And the thing is, like, I can't even give you a specific reason as to why your beats aren't selling because it changes depending on who's asking me. You know, some beats aren't mixed very well. Some beats don't have nice melodies. Some beats are too busy. Some beats, the drums aren't great. You know, it, it, it totally depends on the beat. But the best way and the, and the easiest way to figure out if your beats are sellable is when they start selling and the only way you can go about doing that is by staying consistent oh, I also I hate I hate saying that word because everybody says it but you have to keep uploading beats 
daily, every other day, you try to sink into a habit where you're, you know, you're consistently making beats. You might not think you're getting better. Trust me, you are getting better. If you go back like three months and look at some of my videos where I was making beats or like I was running tutorials, like my beats, like I really think they sucked. And I might look back at this video in three months and think my beats were terrible now. Like it, it, it's a constant, constant process. It never ends until you call it a day and you want to retire. But it never ends. So if you want to figure out if your beats are sellable, don't waste time reaching out to other producers. I mean, I mean I'm gonna try and respond to as many people as possible, but honestly, it's way more effective to use your time by spending two or three weeks pushing out your beats. If you're not getting any responses to your DMs, if you're not getting any responses to your advertisements, then it's highly likely that your beats just aren't there yet, okay? I'm not just gonna leave you there because that's like just a rant and not actually giving any gems. The best way that I found, and this is recent, like this is literally within the, like the past six months, is. I started to run advertisements now. I know a lot of you are gonna immediately go, oh, I can't afford advertisements. Honestly, if you can scrape together 30, 40 dollars, anything that you can put towards this, then just find your best beat. You know, if you if you think your beats are hard, come to Beat Stars. Let me show you right here. Come to Beat Stars. Come to the promo tab and run an advertisement. It's quite self-explanatory. I'll show you guys just in case you haven't seen this page yet. All right, so this is the page. You literally come to promote at the top right. Promote a track. Like this is what I've been doing to figure it out. Okay, promote a track and make sure that that track is available for download. Make sure that you can get a free download. If you want to put a few tags to it, fine. Don't worry about it. Promote a beat. Promote a beat that you think is solid. That you think Think will do well put about ten dollars behind it per day run it for three or four days if you can you know just do whatever you can afford honestly the more money you can put into it the better because then you can really get in front of a ton of people and, and that way you have more data to go off but just do what you can afford but by the end of that promotion you can see if people are interested in that beat. And the good thing about using the BeatStars platform, I know there's some of those spammy bots and, and stuff like that, so you'll get like some auto likes and you'll get some auto comments. I didn't even know that, that was a thing until I started getting like like four DMs a day asking me to follow for follow and all that kind of mess. But, but the one thing that these bots don't do is download your beats, okay? Why would they download a beat if it's a bot? So run an ad, make sure there's a free download on there and take a look at the results. So I ran this ad on a beat called Family Straight. I put a bit of money behind it because I was quite happy with the I was quite happy with the beat. 57 people downloaded it, seven people reposted it, and they got a ton of plays. Uh, the likes might be iffy depending on whether the bots liked it or not. But that number right there is what I'm looking for. Like if 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 your if your beat's getting downloaded, then you know that that's a beat that you can start pushing. It doesn't mean that you have to keep running ads on that beat. It just means that you know that that beat is now good enough to push out to people. If a lot of people are downloading it, then that means that it's gonna appeal to a lot of people that you're reaching out to. So if you go by that logic, like it's gonna cost a little bit of money up front, but if you go by that logic, trust me, you'll make a return on your investment because I know for sure that people are gonna like that beat if I send it to them. Not everybody, but a higher percentage are gonna like that beat. If I start sending DMs, if I feature it on my pro page. So that's one technique to do and the other technique technique if you have absolutely zero budget it's going to take a lot more time but it's just the dm method you know finding rappers and singers on instagram you know searching through the hashtags searching through other producers followers and spending two or three days reaching out to as many people as you can sending them that one beat seeing what feedback you get if they get if you get no response they're clearly not interested if you get a response that says yeah yeah i might use it yeah they're probably not interested if they're like bro i need this beat right now then you know that that beat is good enough and that can kind of influence how you make beats you know in the future now it's not going to happen overnight but if you get in a habit of doing that then six months to a year down the line if you're consistently doing that and, and getting feedback you'll get to a point where you can upload beats you can run an advertisement on them, you can reach out to people and more people will buy it. More people will download it and more people will end up buying it. And honestly, that that is just the way it is. There's no, there's no magic source to it. You can use the tactics and the strategies that I've explained you know, in, the, in these videos, in my courses. But the fundamental element behind all of this is the beats. You're trying to sell a beat, which means the beat has to be sellable, has to be good. So let the market decide. Try not to make your own decisions. Try not to make your own conclusions because at the end of the day, you're wanting to do business with somebody else. They're the people that you need to convince that your product is of a high enough quality to purchase and, and make music with. Their opinion matters most, okay? Your opinion doesn't matter too much in this situation. It's not really a huge huge amount of gems this time but like I feel like this is important like it really is important because because if you're pulling feedback from the wrong people that's a that's a quick way to burn out if you're asking other producers and they're blowing smoke up your ass saying you know bro this beat is so fire you know da, da, da. most of the time they're gonna just give you positive feedback because they just want to get you off their chat feed you know because you're pestering them for feedback just get your beats out there it really is 
It really is as simple as that. I'm probably gonna get some slack for this. It has to be said. I encourage you to enroll on some of my courses. I encourage you to watch all my other videos and learn and start to like, you know, implement some of the strategies that I know works. But at the end of the day, it really does come down to your beats, which means investing in good plugins. It means investing in good effects, good, VSTs, marketing, it means investing in your beat store, putting time into your the quality of your content, putting time into your artwork. All of it is kind of like intertwined. You know, if you can put all those links together, eventually you're gonna end up with a solid brand that people trust, people are happy to buy from, and have people are happy to buy from consistently. And that's you know one of the key things is getting people to come back to your store and buy again. So yeah. I hope that has helped. I hope it's more of an eye opener for, for the majority of you watching. So it's not all doom and gloom. Try not to get too disheartened when people aren't interested in your beats just yet. You're just earlier in the process. So go back to the drawing board, work on your craft, try pushing those beats out again, see what feedback you get and go from there. So yeah, hope that has cleared things up for you guys. Rant over. If you guys haven't jumped on to the Hero drum kit yet, you're missing out. There's been a lot of really good feedback from this drum kit. So if you want the free download, then the link is down below. As well as the free beat selling webinar, you know, there's more strategies, there's more tactics, and there's more mistakes that I highlight that you should really avoid in that free webinar. So if you want to get yourself onto that webinar as well, the link is below. And uh, yeah, you can get straight onto it. But yeah, man, I hope that helped. <laughs>